Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN and welcome to the Firelands. This is Bill Rock Hard Mode 25 Man. Now this sucker is a heavy hitter. Slugging percentage, infinity. Albert Pujols, Alex Rodriguez style here, people. Okay, he has two blade phases. One is the Infernal Blade phase, which I will be tanking. The second is the Decimation Blade phase, which Scaler will be tanking. He is on his Death Knight scaling in a high avoidance set to avoid as many of those Decimation hits as possible. Now, Decimation hits you for 90% of your health pool, which means you always have to keep that tank above 90%. Now, here I get Infernal Blade. The Infernal Blade tank should be block capped if you're a Paladin tank. I currently am block capped or CTC capped, as you want to call it. And... The Infernal Blade hits for an insane amount of fire damage, so I'm wearing the Mirror of Broken Images and I'm Glyph for Divine Protection, which is basically like a mini AMS for Paladins, which is nice. So what's going to happen is I will always be tanking Bellrock um, at all times. The only time that Scalar will taunt will be during Decimation. At the beginning of the fight, you want to get Scalar or your Death Knight tank, whoever it may be. To so about 270, 280k HP. Now, as Bailrock is attacking you, he has a stacking debuff that he puts on you, which basically uh, gives him 20% more damage done, and you get like 20% more HP of your current uh, health pool, which is why at this point you see me at 431.7k HP. Now, for this Infernal Blade, I went ahead and I popped Divine Protection. Now, it's not only necessary to blow your cooldowns or your, I guess, magical damage reduction cooldowns for Infernal Blade. While he's uh, normally just melee hitting you, you also want to have cooldowns for that as well. So what I try to do is I try to rotate my Mirror Broken Images for the Infernal Blades. And when he's just normally attacking me, uh, right after the Infernal Blade is over, I'll go ahead and I'll pop Holy Shield to get the healers uh, adjusted. Now, in the background, there's a crystal mechanic that's going on. I'm not going to lie. I almost have no idea what's going on with the crystal mechanic. All I know is that we have to rotate members of the guild to stand next to the crystal and the crystal what it does is you stand by it it gives you a stacking debuff and you take like i think like a thousand percent more damage and you do 50 percent less healing so if a healer stands by it someone has to cover their tanks or someone has to cover that person's healing now people say to themselves well why do we even stand near the crystal why does anyone just run away from the crystal if you run away from the crystal, it does a pulsing like AOE damage to the entire raid for like 35,000 damage. So someone always has to be standing near the crystal. Um, now, the way the healers get the, the increased healing, I guess, is dependent on the amount of debuffs you get from the crystal. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll be honest. If anyone out there knows the exact mechanics and is experienced and uh, an actual raid leader and GM and has to explain these things to the healers and DPS, by all means, post it down in the comments, folks. I'm trying to give more of a tank perspective of this fight. So I am a CTC basically block cap uh, 102.4%. I think I actually had about 103.1% during this fight. This is a huge DPS race. I'm trying to keep as much uptime on my DPS as possible while blowing my cooldowns, doing my Word of Glory, etc. Right there, I pop myself with a Word of Glory with a shield. Uh, should I be popping Word of Glory to shield myself? Probably not. That shield's going to last 0 0.5 to 3 milliseconds, if anything. But um, as long as you have the other tank that's doing decimation to just stack high avoidance, it should be okay. We tried a few things. Uh, with decimation, we tried it so that every time he's about to swing, the other tank would taunt. You would ping pong the boss back and forth, but we found that that made the boss taunt immune. Now, I thought bosses couldn't be taunt immune anymore. Uh, but I guess they can be because there was a situation where we ping pong too much and it was during the end of a fight and I needed to taunt and I couldn't. It said immune. I'm not sure if he just hit in rage or what. But it's a six minute enrage timer. Um, the average DPS has to probably be around like 30k for the entire raid, from what I heard. So here we go Decimation Blade. Scalar goes in and taunts. The first hit, avoided. Second hit, avoided. Third hit, avoided. Fourth hit, avoided. And there we go. I taunt the boss back. So basically, that works out pretty well if you have a Death Knight who's stacking a pretty high amount of avoidance. You could probably do the same with a Bear Tank. And myself, if you're looking on the left there, you can see <laughs> he's hitting me for about 230,000 damage, and I'm blocking 230,000 damage. So that's pretty much an insane amount. The cool thing about it is I turn into a huge fucking dwarf at the end. It's like I have a uh, hero with stone form and some other crazy shit. Look how big I am. That's the biggest I'm ever going to get as a dwarf. I should, like, cherish this moment forever. Decimation Blade again. Scalar Taunts. Avoided. 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 He's a fucking boss. Avoided. And it's over. Taunt back. So I taunt the boss back and I continue my normal rotation. Inferno Blade. So make sure that you that you use your shield wall and your Arnon Defender and other small cooldowns 
after burning uh, Inferno Blade is over, folks. Okay, use them after Inferno Blade is over. Now we have one dead healer at the moment. Uh, the crystals look like it's getting like intense over there. There's two crystals up at the moment. We have two people uh, soaking up the damage for the crystals. Those people need cooldowns. So you want to have someone like a Death Knight or with AMS uh, Paladins with Divine Protection Glyph. I think I guess uh, maybe Shadow Priest with Dispersion. But here we go. I get Inferno Blade. Pop my Mirror Broken Images. I have about five seconds. Four, three, two, one until that wears off. And then I will go ahead... And I wait till that's over. Once it's over, I should be popping Holy Shield. I probably don't, probably because it's toward the end of the fight. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, we're getting down this. There we go. I pop Holy Shield now. Uh, I guess I wasn't actually taking that much damage after the Inferno Blade was over. But this is where it gets crazy. We have about 10 seconds left on Berserk. Um, what's going to happen is, or what I would suggest is, try to have the Hunters get as much threat as possible. Keeping the Hunters at the top of the threat list is basically essential. Why? Because when he enrages... Right here, I tried to bubble and taunt, and that didn't work out too well. He went right to Scaler, killed one of the melee. Uh, I guess the whole bubble taunt thing doesn't work too well, as I found out there. I got like three people killed. I mean, he would have killed me anyway and gone to a few other people. But right here, what's going to happen is you. I like to keep the hunters high on threat because they can deterrence tank the boss. They can just basically sit there, hit deterrence, and just like auto swing at him or something with the pet attacking you could also have the rogues basically evasion tanking like right here we have one of the rogues evasion tanking he goes ahead and he vanishes the other uh rogue does start his little evasion tanking he's like shh, 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 shh. i know that's the fan of knife sound but we got him here with about four dps and one healer left alive three dps and one healer left alive three dps at the end bell rock is down uh no shield for me sad face no shield but look at the size of my fucking dwarf body on the ground <gasps> look at that fat fuck sitting right there bail rock is a very fun fight it's also a challenging fight for tanks in, in terms of rotating your cooldowns uh knowing when to taunt uh looking at the other tanks debuff and the target of target it is a lot that comes around to it uh, make sure of your CTC cap to have your Mirror of Broken Images and to have your Divine Protection Glyph if you are taking the Inferno Blades. If you're taking Decimation, try to stack as high amount of winnings as possible. The Stay of Execution Trinket, the one that comes from the Revered uh, Firelands reputation, that is also an awesome trinket for this fight if you are actually doing the Decimation tanking. This has been Tally with TGN. Once again, Bail Rock Hard Mode 25, man. Uh, I will be posting my major domo downing uh, tonight. We already downed the boss uh, as of the making of this video. And I didn't actually record it, but I will be recording it tonight to post. And then it's on to Heroic Rag, folks. Please stop by twitch.tv slash Towley or justin.tv slash Towley to see more live streaming. We've had more than like a thousand people, 13, 1400 viewers every night just sitting there watching us down bosses. Um, it's great. Visit my personal YouTube, youtube.com slash console crusader uh, tally.com facebook.com slash tally and twitter.com slash tally the tank once again hope you guys enjoyed the video post any comments that you want thumbs up if you know any of the mechanics specifically with the crystal by all means post it thank you and peace out